Welcome to Shane's School of Delicious Breakfast. Today, we'll be making fried egg fried rice. Fried rice. This is literally not fried rice. There is rice in the pan right now. And what is that noise that it's making? Sizzling. Then we're making sizzled rice. I'm just saying, fried rice is a specific dish, and you're not making fried rice. I'm doing my culinary take on fried rice. So white rice in a pan, and you're going to crack a scrambled egg into it? Uh, we're not done. We have to add soy sauce. And... You add soy sauce after, when it's in the bowl. That they don't is have not, to know that. They don't have to know that. It's not fried rice. That's part of how it works in my recipe. Now, the finishing touch. Tell me one. A healthy amount. I can actually see. Is that good? Yeah, I think that's more than you typically put on. The soy sauce really brings out the flavor of the dish, of the sizzled fried rice. The sizzled rice. Oh, shoot. You know what? This is that extra salty rice that we made. Yeah. We accidentally made really overly salted mm -hmm. rice last night. I know. So the I'm soy sauce... Soy. The soy sauce is not going to work well with that. Yum. I'm going to need a bucket of water along with this. Hello, hello. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. It's time to talk about our lives. I feel like this camera makes... This camera doesn't... This camera looks weird. Yeah? Yeah. Do I look normal to you? Yeah. Don't I look dark? No. You're tan. Yeah. But like under my eyes looks dark. My, like, I, I just feel like, hmm. No, that's a color you are. No, I don't think so. My, my eyes make you look like that. Like, I feel like I look like I have like freckles. I'm not really sure. Anyway. You don't know you have freckles? <laughs> I have some freckles, but I, I'm just confused about this camera. Anyway, obviously a lot of people think that uh, I'm Shane's nurse in some capacity. Hence his book, Strangers Assume My Girlfriend Is My Nurse. And... I would like to tell those people that for the past couple of days, they have been correct. I have been acting as a nurse for Shane. Um, as you know, he claims that he does not have allergies. However, I don't have allergies. He has been having some allergies recently. Stuffy nose, you know, itchy eyes, whatever. And uh, massive amounts of mucus. Yeah, just a lot of like snot, you know, whatever. And he refuses to take allergy pills, obviously, because it's not allergies. I don't have allergies. <sighs> But whenever he has like a stuffy nose, whether it's from a cold or allergies or whatever, that always ends up getting into his lungs at some point, like overnight when he's asleep and just gets right in there. When my guard is down. When your guard is down. And so he wakes up and he has to cough. And so this morning he was like, he had a lot of phlegm in his lungs just from sleeping overnight. And I guess he wanted to tell you about it. <laughs> this is all to say that Shane asked me to describe that so that he could now tell you about his coughing. Sleep is a vital component to overall health and well-being. And we would now like to thank Helix Sleep for sending us one of their mattresses to try out in our new home. Now that Hannah and I have been living together for over three years, we have developed our own unique style of sleeping together. We've never really showed you what those sleep positions look like, so now we are going to share some of our favorite sleep positions with you. We're also going to let you know what we have loved about testing out our new Helix Sleep Mattress. Helix is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses to fit your unique needs and preferences based on your body type and sleep style. First, you fill out the Helix Sleep Quiz outlining your preferred bed size, sleep position, mattress firmness, and other personalized preferences. Based on our results, Helix matched us with their Dusk Lux mattress. As you can see from our sleep positions here, Shane mostly sleeps on his left side, except when we are snuggling before bed or when we wake up in the morning. Hannah, on the other hand, moves about like a rolling dervish throughout the entire night which is what led to her nickname, Spray. Both of us prefer a medium to firm mattress. A firmer mattress ensures that Shane doesn't sink into it. And it also helps support Hannah's back in her various positions. We love the soft yet firm feeling of our Helix mattress and the queen size they sent us gives us plenty of room for me to roll around like a fish out of water all night without disturbing little baby Shane. 
With your daily sleep mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 10 year warranty. The best part about all of this is that Helix delivers your mattress right to your door for free within the US. Click on the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash squirmy for up to $200 off your Helix sleep mattress plus two free pillows. And no night is complete without a visit from Chloe. Sleep well, everyone. Is that good, Shane? You, you want to tell them? We're just having a nice conversation yeah. while we eat breakfast okay. about my mucus. Uh -huh. um, so stuff in my lungs is like pretty serious for me because if I don't get rid of it, it turns into pneumonia. I end up in the hospital, yeah. I end up dead. Okay. Um, so like when I feel even a little bit in my lungs, I, we go into like lung safety mode. Yeah. And today it was really bad. Like I woke up and I was, I can't even describe it. What does it sound like when I have that? It, I mean, when you breathe in, you can hear it. It's like water, rattling around. Like, yeah, like water bubbling in my lungs. Yeah. Um, and I can't cough really effectively to just like get it out. So it takes me a long, long time of coughing, which wears me out, which makes it even harder. So today we did our lung protocol that I tell thumping. People are like, oh, okay. This was Hannah's duty as my nurse today. Yeah, so first Shane did his inhaler that he has um, that's supposed to just like loosen everything up. It's and albuterol. Albuterol. He also has these pills that you can take I forget what they are, but they're supposed to like lower the inflammation in his lungs, and he refuses to take them. He has never once taken them. I don't I know like, what it well, is. I did once and then maybe throw up. That's why. No, they didn't. Remember I threw up? But you were just sick. In Indianapolis. That was, oh, I don't think that was from the pills, but yeah, maybe it did. I forgot about that. You did throw up there, and that was right after taking them. Whether it was just accidental or they made him throw up, he will never take them again. Well, it might have been the leftover mushroom pasta that I had for breakfast. Uh, From Olive Garden? Just that, cold that out of the refrigerator? Out, yeah, sat out all night. Ew. <laughs> uh, it might have been that, but... You think it might be on the It's not. Oh, there? Yeah. So yeah, it might have been the mushroom pasta, but it might have been the pills, so he doesn't take them anymore. But he took his inhaler and then he laid down... And uh, he was laying with like a pillow under his head and was like, I feel like I should be tilted the other way, you know, so he can cough out, not so it's like sinking yeah, down. So I put a pillow under his hips. We should have taken a video of this. You looked really ridiculous. Mm -hmm. But then the thumping is just me like hitting his chest, basically. I think it's called chest percussion. Chest basically. percussion. It's a thing. And there's like devices that do it like a you know a vest you can put on that does it but like that's you know I own them. you you yeah but you hate it i think it's in pennsylvania i don't think we even bought it from pennsylvania you're like i'm never oh my god chloe you're like i'm never ever using that again and so it's just me hitting his chest to like loosen stuff up and it all came out really really easily yeah it worked really well it doesn't always work really well yeah it sometimes feels a little bit futile like you know yeah. I, I i don't do it all the time because i'm like it's not gonna work but today I was having so much trouble breathing. Yeah. So I was like, all right, let's do it. So she puts my hips up. Yep. And like right away I was like, eh. oh, <laughs> some came up. Yeah. Uh, and then she began to hit me. And more and more. <laughs> Thump you. Please don't say I began to hit you. More and more came out. It was really effective. And now you're done. Listen. <sighs> yeah. Clear as a whistle. Clear as a. Clear as a bell. Clear as a bell. A bell. Clear as a bell? Clear as a whistle? Clear as a whistle. A bell. What would a bell Clear be? as a bell. I heard it clear as a bell. Isn't that a phrase? Yeah, but why? Like, you can hear it clear as a bell, like a church bell? You know, like in the town? You'd clear as like, a tornado siren. Okay. <laughs> anyway, that's how we get stuff out of my lungs. There's one other, like, elevation of that method that we can do, which is my cough assist device yeah which is a machine another thing you hate that's basically like a vacuum that we put on my mouth and it sucks my air out yeah hate it helps him cough i don't think it works it never worked it never no, has no, worked. last time it like it blew it blew it in <laughs> yeah you hated it it literally has never cleared anything for shane and we're, we have it on the right like settings i feel like people are gonna be like you're using it wrong yeah it does work for a lot of people yeah and it probably would work for me if i yeah tried it more but i uh I'm on like day three of whatever is going on now yeah. with me at cold or allergies, probably at cold. Um, so I should be over the phlegm fairly soon. Yeah. I think you got, you know, you got so much of it out. 
Your nose is better today than it was yesterday. Yeah. Maybe it was the Benadryl. Why did I take Benadryl? <laughs> For your, I gave you that like Benadryl decongestion combo. Oh, the one that made me nauseous? Yeah. <laughs> I think that every medicine <laughs> it, like makes me sick. Uh -huh. It might have been that you had, um, what did you have for breakfast that day? Uh, oh yes, the quesadilla, the beef quesadilla with rice and queso. But yeah, it was probably the Benadryl. <laughs> I'm noticing a correlation between the breakfast I eat yeah. and how nauseous I feel. Mm -hmm. hmm. More research needs to be done. <laughs> we'll start now by me eating this salty, salty <laughs> abomination. Yep. I'll let you know how I feel. Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to say goodbye. That is all we have for you today.